Welcome back to Summit Sunrise. I'm here with Ginny from the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. And, you know, as we as we get really into the thick of the off season and mud season and even just kind of kicking off summer, the Grand Lodge on Peak 7, you know, you guys have so many, um, oh gosh, so many amenities. It's just such a gorgeous facility. But really, I wanted to just kind of tell you about if you if you need a place for your friends or family to come stay and come visit you this is one of the perfect options my this is where my family stays when they come oh really? that's great oh my goodness Jenny. let me <laughs> can i tell you how many bonus points i got for being like the best aunt in the world because my brother's kids can play in the aquatic the center oh they're awesome aren't they oh my gosh so they fun. they lo absolutely love it and then also being right there on the slopes and mm -hmm. then still being convenient to town and the fact that it's it is so luxurious and it's it, they can spread out it's not like just being confined in a hotel room right no you know? the uh the resort really is phenomenal and it's got um, an on-site spa for anyone who wants to mm -hmm. do a little pampering, which mm -hmm. I took advantage of yesterday. Oh my gosh. It was lovely. And, um, you know, there's, there's the spa and the pools, there's the restaurant, there's the lobby. Mm -hmm. You know, we've really seen some interesting things happen in the lobby this last year where people just spontaneously start board game contests and there'll be like five <laughs> tables with families playing board games. It's the coolest thing. And then there's the library if people want to go in and get on a computer. And yeah. there's just so many great things. Um, a lot more than a lot of the resorts um, have to offer typically, I think, because we do have that space for the amenities up there. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't jam in every single condo we could right. because we're a timeshare. And timeshare resorts have a certain expectation mm -hmm. of having those amenities. Right. And so it's, it really works out great for owners and just anyone who wants to stay there that there are so many great mm -hmm. things to do there. And it's definitely, oh man, just such an incredible option. And I don't think they're ever going to go back to anything else because I've completely spoiled them now. <laughs> and they absolutely love it. But I mean, every time every time they, they talk about that, oh, it's so good so fun it was so great and like to have the restaurant there and especially when you have little guys too I mean I know you know for my family it's so nice to have that convenience of just being able to say you know what we're just gonna go downstairs we're gonna walk yeah. up the ramp and there is the restaurant and then if, if someone is acting up we can take you right on back to the room you right. know no, you're absolutely so. right I have a three-year-old and I think people with um, younger children really enjoy the luxury of having a safe environment yes. where it's kind of contained. Mm -hmm. And That's so, true. you know, obviously not a three-year-old, but a little bit older, you could let them go to the pool by themselves. They know how to get back to the room. Mm -hmm. You meet up at sevens for lunch or, you right. know, you can really yeah. just kind of let it go a little bit. It kind of reminds me of like an all-inclusive in other parts of the world, yeah. you know, where you can just kind of Take a deep breath and enjoy yourself as a parent a little more right. than some other places. So. Right. And then, of course, I mean, even if you don't have kids, like we were talking about with the spa, oh my gosh, you guys have this <laughs> this grotto. I mean, it's it's uh, it's unreal. Do you see this? Well, Absolutely it's, gorgeous. It's nice when you go for a spa treatment, you also have access to the fitness center and the grotto and the steam room. So I always encourage people to go up a little early or to plan mm -hmm. on staying a little bit after and take full advantage of the facility because oh the gosh. treatment is fantastic. But if you can fit in a little bit more around it and really enjoy right. yourself, then that's even better. So worth it. And then, um, so, you know, as, as a timeshare, I think a lot of people are kind of like, ooh, a little scared of that word. But you guys have been, I mean, you've been doing really, really well. It, it, we've been very fortunate. The, um, the industry... Uh, conference was just in Las Vegas mm -hmm. about three weeks ago and we won um, the Project of Excellence Award wow. which is the most coveted award for any resort in timeshare and we were up against you know Disney's Hyatt's Mary I mean that's it is the that's who's who deal. when you win this um, yeah. the, the Grand Waikiki and won it two years ago I think the St. Regis and Aspen won it once Wow! and um, our other resort Grand Timber won it in 2003 so kind of neat that continuation nine years of that later, excellence yeah. yeah we win it for the new resort and um it was a really special event uh it's kind of the oscars of timeshare wow nice, <laughs> out in las nice. vegas and you know we are very proud to um have such a great product and yeah be recognized in that way right and then yeah. i know i mean you guys just had a record breaking month we did in march we sold over nine million dollars in real estate in oh one month gosh. um and that's in one week in increments you know some people buy two weeks or right um even more but uh our previous top month was 7.8 million so <gasps> we just blew it out of the water wow and uh, it was fantastic you know wow. we just 
think the proximity to the ski hills, you know, if you're mm-hmm. from out of town and you want to do that one ski trip a year, it makes a lot of sense to buy something that you know and go back to every year. Right. And once you've paid for it, you've paid for it. You own it forever. So. Oh my gosh. And again, the luxury and the amenities, <laughs> they are just incredible. And I know that you guys are getting started um, on construction on the other building, right? Yes. We're in um, in the middle of construction on this, uh, the second and last building of this resort. There's um, been some modifications along the way. Uh, the developers put in a million extra dollars out of their own pocket to create a connector between the two buildings. Oh, wow. And they're putting in two more of our little mini uh, movie theaters. Oh, great. Been, we have two of them in the north bu- or sorry, south building, and they are so popular. Uh, they're about 12-person theaters, and they've got these big leather chairs and great sound systems. Oh, and yeah. You just rent it out as a family for a few hours and watch a movie, eat popcorn, whatever, and... Uh, it's a pretty neat experience, but they were so popular, and people asked for more. So when we uh, went into the second building, the developers put in the extra dollars, built two more theaters in there, and this connector, which is going to also have a ski locker facility oh, wow. so that owners can leave their skis down closer to the slopes and so don't have to perfect. schlep them back and forth. Oh, that's so nice, especially on yeah. some of those very winter, blistery kind of days <laughs> that we have sometimes in January. So uh, for more information on, on everything with the Grand Lodge or to make an appointment to see it yourself, what's the best way to do that? Um, visit GrandLodge.com. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, Grand Lodge on peak 7com Do the whole thing. And then and also, we can um, see people directly at the showroom at Peak 7. So during ski season, we have a lot of people just ski right in. Uh, we also have a sales center on, Mil- on Main Street, Breckenridge, right by uh, Lincoln and Main, so where the Lincoln West Mall is. And then lastly, they can call at uh, 888-783-8883. All right. Get in touch with them for more information. You are going to love it if you've never been. And believe me, extra bonus points for the family. We are officially out of time, though, for your weekend edition. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you back here again live on Monday morning.